Oh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the War of the World Box. And today we are going to do our Living Earth. Next, I I will also do today a map design of the pl our planet, Living Mars. I mean, not Living Earth, but our our planet is living. Fighting back though, it's still alive. Okay, so we gotta wait for it to to, to upload. Okay, guys, I actually tried to record this earlier, but uh, I crashed. So, so guys, this is our world right now. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the five times speed button, and we're gonna watch history unfold before our very eyes. All right. So, as you can tell, the humans are already dead. They're already dead. It's pretty sad. We're gonna make this a beautiful environment for new animals. Mm. We're gonna just cover this entire island with freaking leaf plants. That's all this is gonna be. Just freaking giant amounts of plants. And um, holy, let's hope no other civilization. So I think they're actually starving to death. Cause I don't know how they fall apart. Let me put two on each of them, cause that could change something. Ah. I think they actually kind of. I think they might have fought each other to extinction. I think I saved them. Let me check. That's in that. Really wish this game had some background noise because it doesn't. So, uh, I don't think they're gonna go extinct. Let me just make sure these guys don't go extinct. Okay, there's three. Basically, when the population begins to rise, that just establishes them as a nation state. Oh. Potato. Ah, love, love. Ah. Uh, it is starvation. That's what wipes them out. Potato. Oh, I see what happens is if, if one goes what oh, okay, they survive. Not their leader. Their leader starves. Yeah, it's starvation. That's a cause. Yeah, starvation wipes them out. We're gonna fix that. If there's not two, I guess they get wiped out. Okay. Now they won't starve to death. And I summoned two more dwarves in, so we're gonna actually slaughter them. And we're also gonna change the, uh, the size. Cause that's a mistake you don't know. So we got the dwarvens. So wow. These men, my guys, my boy. Oh, that's what happened to the humans up here. So we're gonna actually um, save them. And they're gonna live on this island of happiness. <laughs> Come on, stay on the happy. Ah. Perfect. Two population. And it's done. Now the humans probably won't starve to death. This probably will be the main human civilization. So we got America. Yogo Rani with a cop uh, with a pot another city. We have Kad Kadaras. Oh, yeah, you know, that's cadavers. Mm-hmm. Oh, some, so many dwarves. We're gonna fix these. There we go. Wow. There are surprisingly a large amount of animals in this city that, that li like this area. Let me, uh, I, 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 in the last one I made a small little ocean here because it looked nice. How are you like that there? A small little lake here because even though if you're playing, you can still make your islands if you want. It just... It's kind of weird because you could just it switches the world around, but I, I like it. 
but there's not gonna be much life around this. It's gonna be like a small little enclave tree. Oh, small forest here. Like so, and a nice sandy gravel bank, like in Arkansas, like where I live. Oh, huh? in Arkansas, we have gra lots of gravel, we have lots of rivers and streams. And so, and because of that, there are a lot of gravel banks. And it's really probably one of my favorite things about my, my state. It's kind of beautiful. Which, you, even during quarantine, you can survive it. Oh my gosh! The dwarves have declared war on the orcs. That's expected. They hate each other. Most everyone hates each other. Humans hate everything in this game. I'm not respawning them. They they probably died out in the war. We're gonna name these the Paul because this is a history channel. We're gonna actually rename this city. I don't know what the capital of Polynesia is, but we're gonna name them the Paul Paul. That's definitely not how you spell it. Paul. No, we're not gonna name him that because I can't spell. For the life of me, we're gonna. Since I'm renaming them already. Wait, what happens when you don't give them a name? They're just fine. I love that, but I also hate it. I kind of like that. That's kind of funny. So we're not gonna name them that though. Let's go with. <clears throat> Let's go with the Islander. Is land ers of the North. Command A, C, deleting that. And now we're going to name this island Utania. Yeah. Utania. And then their kingdom. Uh, Islanders of the North. Wow! Cuck. This civilization's doing well. Oh, they're beating up the elves. Poor elves. This happened in the other timeline, too! Because I forgot to say. Never forget to save, everyone! Be sure to save. So we got the Nyla and Norla. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, these guys are beating each other to the ground. Fight! The elves, this is the elves. Forget peace and love and happiness. Forget your freaking essential oils and healing crystals. All you want is blood and war. Yes. <laughs> The, the uh, Utania and Hatsink is doing pretty well, um, except that their other city's starving. That sucks. That really sucks for that. Hmm, it's interesting. They have like, oh, it's because of all the freaking f f berry bushes. They're just like, eat the berries. We are the Berry people. Actually, that's their new name. The capital is now Berry, 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 Berry men. They're the Berry men. I was gonna say Berryville, but I actually live near. But there's actually a uh, town near Berryville, near us, near. No, it's not. I don't know where Berryville is. It's in Arkansas. But Berry. Berrymen, I mean, yeah, but we got the Berrymen in their other <laughs> studio. Hat Sink. Oh, that's not Hat Sink, but it is now. The city named Hats. Hat Sink. Hello, Hat Sink. Oh my gosh. I, I got that idea, and now it's there. Alright, so let's see. We have. My goodness! The dwarf Kegger. Ah, I forgot. These are we're gonna name this civilization too. Uh, what are they? The uh, Kegarian Coast, cause they're on the coast, right? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yan Coast. Perfect. Look at that empire! 
and he had some trees over there. And probably some water in the ocean. That that that's probably a good idea. Bee bee bee. So that's a new paradise right there of Gotrid. We got Pepper Dord. Pepper Dord. <laughs> the name. Oh, wow. These guys are doing well. Oh, wow. They've got Ninoak. And these guys are doing very well as well. Very sophisticated civilizations, actually. We've got the Barry. The Merrymen are doing very good. Doing very good. Oh, God. That was painful. Oh, these two are at war. Like I said, all they want is war. The elves only want war. They're screw. They're just. They just threw away their uh, healing crystals. They're throwing away. The berry men are thriving off the berries. Berry bushes. Bush. They get a lot of berry bushes. Wow, look at all the berry bushes. There's a lot of civilizations. There's, oh man, how is this not a war front? These two guys are actually peaceful together. They need to make it so that there are federations, kind of. So you could have, like, the Federation of the Dwarves or something. And you could have... I mean, they just had the Kingdoms update. So, I mean, I, the Diplomacy update. So, I, I'd out the lab Kingdoms. But if they do add, like, federations, that would be pretty beast. Because then you could have, like, a federation and they would all work together. Oh, no, those two are kill those Those two kingdoms are killing each other. <laughs> oh, God. Do -do 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 -do. Man, these guys just hate the old dwarves. They're climbing across this heck knife desert. Which actually makes this a little more interesting. Look, look. What I can do... Is that I could make another mountain range about here, and this will be a valley of sorts, full of vast resources. Okay, we're actually gonna cut that off. So th this is how you make a valley. So you're gonna cut it through. I have a lot. Now it's right. In Arkansas, there's a lot of valleys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a small stream. Cutting it through the middle. On that side more specifically. Now we're going to replace this area with just a plain old valley. We're going to make this come out like a spring. Hooray. Now we're going to draw that. Perfect. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is just a beautiful game. We'll finish the valley. And I love. I could spend hours doing this. I oh wait, I do spend hours making maps. Oh. It's so relaxing and I love it. And it's making me it makes me happy. I'm actually almost in tears right now. Okay. We'll have to cut in the uh, ravine a little closer to the edge on that side because I want it to be like that's a, like a clinching point on the valley. Okay. Roll the river again. You don't know where. You don't know where. That we'll meet again. And we'll have some spots that barely have any land at all. Now we're going to actually connect it to this geyser. Oh, well, I'll put another geyser there. And we'll put a mountain range behind it. Like it's this. Like that. Like so. This will have, these will be a beautiful place, but we're going to make it a little hard for, like, to exist, if you will. This guy's just going to represent a, um, alright, now we're going to make it disappear into a black, some black hills in the back. Here, and we're going to make, like, a swimming hole, okay? And the swimming hole we're going to draw out and make pretty nice and large. Swimming hole will have 
some shallower waters like that. I am loving this. Which we can't call this, I don't know, but I love it, and it's my new favorite thing. So we're gonna add a few tree areas. We're not gonna let anyone live here for now, okay, guys? Look how pretty it is. Now we're gonna draw in the mountain range. Oh, I'm loving this already. I think this size is best. <laughs> Why? I mean, if you can make your own outside in quarantine, it feels really chill and relaxing. Perfect. Now we can put, fill in the mountain range. Perfect. <laughs> They'll put some pockets of deep water in there, like they're sinkholes, alright? That, like a sinkhole, right? No, we'll put some trees in the mountains, like so. Nice. No, no. We will f smite you at like the angry gods we are. This is our home, the home of the god. No, no, stop. Dead. No! God smite! Good. The God smite. I'm gonna build some defenders. Uh. Bear defenders! Uh, yeah! Uh, defend my home! Defend this valley of beauty! <laughs> okay, so they're gonna defend the valley. And now we're going to make. Some big, big mountains. No, my guardians. The guardians, whenever they leave to go kill something. <laughs> and also, my in Arkansas, you might think, oh, there's a lot of mountains there. No. Arkansas has plateaus. And we actually have deep valleys. Not um, So, like, we're pretty much level. But there are very, we have gorges and valleys full of rain and snow. Not snow, we don't have much snow. But, but that's beside the point. So this is going to be, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. My new favorite area. Okay. Let's fill it up with some water. We're going to make it kind of like a paradise, but we're also going to make it really sucky to live here. There's not actually, we don't have snow-capped mountains. That, that uh, okay, we don't have those. That's not what Arkansas is about. Look at this beautiful valley. And I think I might shrink the edges of it a little bit. Shrink and make the mountains a little less intense, like that, by shearing off the edges, giving it a slightly bigger point. Like so. Oh. Actually, guys, whenever you're in quarantine, go outside, ride your bike, enjoy yourself, chill, love it. Let's put some sand in here, just for fun. I mean, it's just a little shady beach. Like so. Beautiful. We'll make some piranhas to live here, too. To keep the place safe. Keep it safe! Perfect. And then, maybe we could make some giant tree guardians. Fill it with life. Tree guardians, I like that. Yeah, we'll make tree guardians. Like this. And now we'll make some tree defenders. These defenders will defend the valley from animals. From human life and etc. Defend my beauty! Hi, dog! But, uh, there we are. We have our beautiful, perfect valley of joy. We'll put some steel in here, too. This is green earth, boys. Green Mars. Sentient trees. Oh god, the sentient trees are about to invade! 
this is it. Very pretty, if you if I say. Very, very pretty. Oh god, the sentient trees are like, this is the guardian! Jeez, the sentient trees just got killed that dude. Oh. While we were building that, an empires have formed. Uh, got that massive a civilization. Mm, we got our first colonies of that. That's pretty. I'm gonna actually edit this a little bit. We need to make it so that there's not, like, this disgusting cake black rock. That. Ha <laughs> ha, the colonists. I'm gonna bless my trees. All of my trees get blessings. You get blessed. My mighty trees. Be blessed. I'm gonna put a shrine to me as the god. Uh, as in, I'm a scientist. Ye. Just saying, uh, do you know, uh. What the. Why is that beating up? No, my shrines! Everything kills the shrines. That's cool. I just wrecked. Kill him! Kill the nerd! Kill! Get rid of the colonists! Trees, get them! Come on, trees, do your job! Okay, I guess the bears will have to do your freaking job for you. Get them, bears! Get rid of the colonists! Yeah! Come on, the. Gonna make these freaking towers sentient. Yeah. Oh god, they're fighting back. Oh, that's better, much better than trees. Take down the sentient. Dev, do the sentient. Woo! Okay, that's actually sounded kind of bad. Okay, guys. Yes, I know I have a temple of death. But it's my temple of death. No one lives there. No one gets to live. Oh, wow. Um, so we have. Oh, wow, look at these empires forming, but look at my little valley! Look at it! Let me fill with animals. Sinji and trees! Go! Yes, alright. Cacti, defend your homelands. Defend the heartlands. Also, I'd like, um, also look, um... <laughs> the zombie! Thanks! <laughs> It's a fight to death. The tree versus the tree. You know what? I think. Yeah, this. Oh, it is on five times. I couldn't tell. Look at this beautiful, weight, beautiful, beautiful place. Ah. Uh, well, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of me building a cute valley. I freaking love that valley.